We are 23 hours and 30 minutes into my one meal a day fast. And I'm currently trying to figure out my meal plan, the details of my meal plan. Because as I was losing weight with one meal a day, I was very, very consistent with my calories on the daily. I lost 60 pounds with OMAD and I started my weight loss journey off at 282 pounds. I lost the majority of my weight using the metabolic switch. So it was mainly the keto diet. But the main metabolic diet where I lost a lot of weight was Keto OMAD. I like Keto. Keto is just the best way for me to cut. Now, I am not a carb hater. I will be sprinkling in some carb days here and there, but I'm going to have to figure this out myself. And the only way for me to figure it out is that I have to be consistent with my nutrition. I can't be doing 1300 calories one day and then like 1800 calories the next. No, I got to stick with that 1500 number, which is exactly what I'm doing. So this is an OMAD vlog that was going to be an extended fasted vlog, but I decided to just do two keto OMAD days in a row as opposed to extended fasting. Why? Because right now I'm just having a lot of pain in my shoulder. I took off my K-tape and I, oh, my shoulder is popping. I got muscle hypertrophy on this shoulder. This is my injured shoulder. Mind you, I started OMAD because I got into a car accident. I used... OMAD is a tool to help me restrict binge eating. And the reason why I like keto and OMAD is because these diets literally calm down my appetite. Like when you produce ketones in your body, the ketones go up into the hypothalamus of our brain and it shuts down hunger hormones. That's why I like keto. But anyway, my shoulder. Um, yeah, I've got extra hypertrophy on this side compared to this side. Yeah, you can tell. And this is my injured side. So I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm going to ask my doctor when I see him on, um, I'm going to see him on what you might call it on Tuesday. It's kind of cool because here in Alberta, all the doctors are young. Back home in Ontario, they're all old. Maybe that's changed. But yeah, they're like all millennials. So I can like vibe with millennials. I'm going to see what he says because there's a noticeable difference. And I'm right side dominant. This is my left side. So yeah, right now I'm just trying to figure out a meal plan that works. I think doing 300 calorie meals is the key. And then late at night, I'll have a bigger 600 calorie meal. So right now I've got some broccoli cooking and I have my second meal planned, which will be some canned mackerels and pickles. But I think I'm going to have the broccoli and ground beef. So the key to eating keto literally is that you want all your meals to be like littered with vegetables. It's literally meat and vegetables. Literally, meat and vegetables. I didn't say that properly. It didn't come out right. I've been having concussion symptoms lately too, uh, which sucks because it slows down my workouts because my brain, I just feel all dizzy and foggy. Um, Yeah, I'm having a major headache right now, but this is why I didn't want to continue on with the fast because the first day of fasting, basically what happens is my when you're in pain, your body goes to the spots that need healing. And of course, it's my neck and shoulder right now. I got an injection in my hip. So I, I just didn't want to do an extended fast right now. I want to kind of focus on my nutrition, which is what we're doing. Anyway, my skin is glowing, which is great. My period's supposed to start today and it hasn't. Don't worry. I haven't touched anyone in a long time. I'm a born again virgin with a son. <laughs> it's so funny. I told my my PT that at the gym who signed me up she's like the manager <laughs> she's like it's funny you say that after you talk about your son I'm like yeah born again virgin I'm not touching anybody anyway um <laughs> let's just go to my breaking this fast all right so here we are this is a great filming spot because of the lighting yay and I have a dog in the background so here is my meal macros and calories are as follows followed still 23 hours and 43 minutes into my fast Ooh, this I'm trying to look all pretty for you guys anyway um yes Bo. bull's right here breathing away all right net carbs 7.5 grams 15 grams of fat and 39 grams of protein this is a 339 calorie meal the key to weight loss is learning how to eat 
light. So yeah, this is almost a 24 hour fast. I could go 24 hours, but I really don't want to. This isn't about fasting for me, which is the reason why I decided not to fast. This is more about learning how to get my portion size right, learning how to eat the right foods. I'll be doing a whole grocery shop and a whole haul for you guys. So you maybe get some inspiration because we talked about this on my live stream. Consistency is key with nutrition and nutrition is the hardest battle. So I'm going to get all OCD Daniela and get all diligent and organized with my nutrition workouts. I don't have to worry about that. I've got my PT at the gym taking care of that. And I will be working with a running coach as well. Who's going to help me like get int introduced to running. So I don't have to worry about that. This is what I have to worry about. So breaking my fast at 23 hours and 45 minutes, probably 46 minutes, <laughs> 26 minutes. Cause I haven't put the food in my mouth, but Let's go. Stuff your face with vegetables. Mm-hmm. Don't mind my son's bed back there. It's full of stuffies. So I normally take my supplements first thing in the morning, but I was off. I, I think I started cleaning this morning and I was gonna do a fast. Anyway, berberine. You wanna take this soon after you eat. I'm a little bit off, but I'm gonna take berberine now. Berberine has so many benefits. I call this the metabolic flex pill in a bottle or literally the metabolic diet in a bottle. It does everything the metabolic diet does. Now, obviously you have to be doing the metabolic diet. So berberine helps to bring down your blood sugar levels. Berberine helps promote healthy gut bacteria. Berberine helps the mitochondria. Berberine, gets rid of resistant weight loss. Berberine shuts down fat loss or fat building in the liver. So it actually tells the liver not to store sugar as fat. So it helps with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. There's some PCOS benefits. Berberine is like magical. So everyone should have this in the staple. Check my link in the Amazon store down below to get my recommendation on what berberine you should have. I will have a Canadian link and a USA link. This is the Canadian one, so good. And I found a USA version one that's very similar. All right, here is my next meal. Anyone have this problem with a dishwasher? Yeah, it is what it is. Um, this is my next meal. It is, I'm gonna get you the macros and calories right now i love eating 300 calories at a time of keto it's really powerful you can do this with carbs too anyway seven grams of net carbs 19 grams of fat and 15.8 grams of protein 260 calories yum 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 general rule of thumb with omad the longer you fast the more you shrink that stomach so it's really hard to get in those 1460 calories that day very hard. Hi, I kind of changed my look. It's this time of year where I get bored and change things up. Now that I'm doing a podcast and now that I actually have a social life and I'm leaving my house and I'm communicating with people, um, I'm probably going to buy non-workout clothing because I have none. So look out for some hauls coming soon. So uh, that day I had, I'm looking for my phone my next meal and my next meal was ground beef with some broccoli and my son loved this or beef strips with some broccoli my son loved this because the flavor that the broccoli sucked up he's like it tastes so good so i'm trying to get him to eat healthy more often now because if he wants to be in the nfl he's gonna need to eat clean. He's a very disciplined boy. When I ask him to do something, he does it, but his nutrition needs to be clean and that's on me. That's mommy's job. So I cooked him like steaks and um, potatoes today because that's what he requested. But anyway, I digress. So, you know, nutrition starts with the home. Thank God his mommy is gonna become a personal trainer. Yes, I've decided that I'm going to do that because I was like thinking to myself the other day, I was like, even if I won a lot of money, what would I do with my life? I know it would be fitness and I would literally help people. Like that's my passion. And I kind of do it right now on YouTube. I help people lose weight. I tell people what type of exercises they should be doing and whatnot. Like my passion is truly to help people because I know how it feels like to be injured, be defeated. I know how it feels like to be 
in a situation where you feel completely worthless and you don't have any direction in life. And I know how it feels like to feel like you're stuck, like you can't get anything done, but you can get things done. And like my goal in life, like I want to be like that level of inspirational person, you know, like, like, you know, David Goggins in his own way. Um, what do you call it? Those inspirational speakers, you hear them on YouTube all the time, but I want to be my own version and my fitness version of it. And I actually want to like coach people and help people. And yeah, personal training is something I really, really want to do. And I want more and more people to fall in love with fitness because fitness does not just affect the body. Fitness is a great way to get to the mind. It's a great way to get to the mind because it teaches you how to move on when you don't think you can move forward. Like the same things you learn with in the gym or the same things you learn with running or exercising, pushing through that hard, you're building the same neural connections to push through the hard in life. So yeah, that's what I'm about. Anyway, um, yeah, I told my son that he's like, cool. <laughs> so maybe I get to learn how to train him. I will be training him very soon. Purely body weight, purely body weight. He's not touching weights until he's 15. Um, anywho, Mac uh, that not macros and calories, but that was my second meal. My third meal or my next meal was some steamed kale with sirloin steak. So good. And then I had some peanut butter keto cookies that I've been obsessed with lately. And then after that, I had some edamame. Well, I had edamame first, edamame pasta with some ground beef and then i have the cookies i like to have dessert afterwards keto dessert so that day i had a total of 1460 calories protein was 175 carbs net carbs was 20 grams and fat was 69. i'm sorry i'm gonna call this a keto will i call it a traditional keto diet no i would not say it's a traditional keto keto diet but with those carbs being at 20 grams i would say that's pretty keto enough anyway if you made it this far into the video just type in the word action and i'm sending you guys mad love take care bye